Hey folks, so we're back with a video here on not only using AI to have the Facebook Messenger conversation, but also use the AI to respond in the comments and even have a conversation directly in the comments. So when you have this set up through a Facebook page, uh, if someone comments, you can actually have the AI generate responses and even have a little bit of back and forth in these comments. So what I'm gonna do is just show you what it looks like on the front end before walking you through what the workflow looks like to set it up and then getting into the nitty gritty of creating a workflow from scratch so you can actually see the process there and do it yourself if you wanna use this. So in here, we have the AI actually responding to comments based on a prompt. So we've got uh, some generic sort of responses like, hey, check your DMs, or is this all AI? Yep, it's all AI. Zappy Chat can handle comments and DMs. Cool, right? If you want more info, let us know. Uh, all of these different responses coming through or even this longer thread that has some back and forth questions and answers. Uh, it does take a minute or so in order for the high level automations to trigger off. Uh, and so I don't wanna spend too much time here waiting to see if it responds to my most recent comment. Let's see, let's go, there it is. Uh, but just wanna show you a live demo. Because you know, on the internet, people are often skeptical. Uh, but so, awesome, just sent you a DM with all the, D with all the details, enjoy the demo. Uh, since I've already been through this, I actually set it up to, um, to not DM someone who's already gone through once so that it's not DMing every single time. Uh, but I'll show you exactly how we did that. Because it's just another way that you can use AI to generate conversations and try to lead those conversations into conversions. So here is the workflow that I used for this. Uh, I'm gonna give you just a brief overview of it and then we'll move into a step-by-step, piece-by-piece, building it from scratch so that you can do this for yourself. Basically, we are using High Level's Facebook trigger uh, comment on a post. From there, we're updating a few fields, the message body, the prompt, and the intro message so that the AI has, um, has the context of what it's responding to, uh, knows what its initial intro was, that is the, the copy of the post, and a prompt for it. Then we are clearing out the response and the response channel fields so that we can actually populate those with, um, with the response from here uh, before firing off the webhook to, in this case, a basic non-booking bot, waiting for the response field to populate, sending that response as a comment in here, so using the contents of that field. And then I've got a condition here that says, if the tag does not include commented, send Facebook Messenger. Uh, and if it does include, include the commented tag, then do nothing here. So uh, this is the basic workflow, and I'm gonna show you exactly how we create that over in our high-level account. So if I come over to a brand new workflow builder here. I'm gonna go ahead and name this AI response to Facebook post one. And we'll go from here. So brand new workflow. Uh, we are going to start off by adding in a trigger. So we're gonna use that Facebook comment on a post. Obviously you could do this with Instagram as well. And you'll select your page, publish publish post, select which post you are looking to set up, and go ahead and save. If you only want the AI to respond on the first comment, uh, toggle this on, but if you're okay with the AI having some back and forth in a conversation, then you can save the trigger here. Uh, so now we've got our trigger, and from here we're going to need to update fields. So I'm going to select a update contact field step, and the first step I'm going to add in here is the message body. So this is a field that our AI will reference if there isn't an actual reference body from a response. Since the Facebook comment is not a response field in high level, uh, this is the way that we get around that. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click this little tag here and search for comment. And so we've got comment on a post, comment body. So that's gonna take the comment body and add it in here as my message body for the AI to respond to. 
Next, we're going to put in a intro message. And so I'm going to choose the intro message field. And over here, I'm just going to put in the copy of, uh, of my post. So maybe my post was ask me anything. Uh, but this gives the AI the idea of what the specific call to action is that the contact is responding to. And then lastly, I'm going to update the prompt. And here is where we'll give the AI its instruction. So um, you are a Zappy Chat expert. Be friendly and answer questions. Obviously, you can give it more direction than that. Uh, you might instruct it on what sort of personality to have, uh, any specific things to ask for or respond to, um, or just positively affirm someone. Uh, and their response there. So those are the three fields that we need to update. And so you could relabel that um, if you want to use good labeling practices. Uh, update message body intro intro message and open AI prompt fields. Oops, too long. Looks like that should be enough. Uh, the next step we're going to do is we're going to actually clear some contact fields. So you'll use the update contact field again, but in this drop down, you'll select clear field data. And we're going to clear out the response field and the response channel. Uh, this makes it so that the AI won't try to send it over Messenger or over um, over Messenger or over. Let's see, the snapshots outdated here. So it's, it's going to be called response channel in any newer snapshots. Uh, but make sure that it doesn't try to text or Facebook message the lead instead of responding on the comment. So we clear those out. And then next, we need our webhook. And so we're just going to fire off a webhook for whichever AI we want to use. And so, like I said, I'm just using a basic non-booking bot. And I'm going to just post that in here. So I just copied and pasted that from my Zappy Chat bot directly into the webhook field here. And so this sets it up so that it will trigger the AI with the appropriate fields uh, populated and the appropriate fields empty. Now, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna wait and I'm gonna wait for the response field to be populated. So that means that now we have a response that we can send to the contact. And so we're gonna do the CRM event and select condition here in the drop down contact details and we're going to look for the response field and say is not empty so we're waiting for the condition response field is not empty um, I'll, I won't label these just so we can move a little quicker here so we're going to wait for that and from here we can then respond on the comment now one step in here that I forgot if we're going to use a tag to filter out and make sure we're not DMing people twice. I'm going to add a contact tag up here. I'm going to call it commented. So that way, anytime someone comes through, they are commented. Actually, this is incorrect. Uh, I'm going to move this action to the bottom. So, sorry, little slip up there. Uh, that's what I get for doing this live. But after the wait step where we're waiting for the response field uh, is not empty, then we're going to put in a if else actually I take it back we'll, we'll do, respond to the comment then we'll do an if an if else so in here I'm going to search for comment and we're going to do replying comments and in here I can just put contact dot response and that's going to put in the contents of my response field so you can just also click that tag search for the word response click that exact same thing so I'm going to just put that in and save you could also, you see, you have the option to like the comments as well, if you like. If you're having a more conversational, if you expect some potentially negative responses in your audience, then you might not want to turn that on. But if you feel like people are going to generally be positive, you can uh, turn on that like response. So that's all you need in order to set up the comments. Uh, now, if you want to set up DMs as well, uh, here's how I would go about it to make sure you don't DM someone who comments more than once the same thing. So I'm going to put in an if else right here under the replying comments. I'm going to do contact details and search for tag and say tag 
does not include. And we're going to use our newly created commented tag. So does not include commented. So now we have two paths, does not include commented and does. Under the does not include commented, we're going to actually add that tag. So meaning that if it doesn't include it, it's the first time they've come through. And so we add the tag so the next time they'll come down this way. So down the none path, that means they have the tag commented. That means we don't want to send them a DM because we already did over here. And over here, we're going to add in a, uh, a dynamic messenger here, or interactive messenger. So you'll do Facebook interactive messenger. And then here you can send your, uh, your stock message. Um, if you wanted to instead use the contact response, you could actually do that here instead of, uh, instead of commenting. But that's just another option, another way you can customize this. But here it might just be like, here's that free guide and give them the link, whatever that is, and set that up. So with that, you can just save and publish. And now it's fully set up to where the AI will respond, uh, respond using the response generated from the prompt that you dropped in here and can go back and forth, have entire conversations on a post and generate more conversations, leave those to more conversions, help grow your business.